Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to talk about something that is probably maybe the most important thing if you're an artist working online. How do you price your commissions in a way that is both appropriate for the level of work you're producing, but it's also fair to you as a person running a business, a person who has to make a living and pay rent, you know? And this can be really hard, especially in the beginning when you don't have any experience and no reference points. And so I find that a lot of people kind of just start out as low as they can possibly go, probably because they're scared to charge too much. I see really talented artists who are popular and, and getting tons of commissions charging like $20 for something that takes them eight hours. And that's, that's a big problem because not only is the artist not getting paid what they deserve, but they're also kind of bringing down the value of art overall. Like, if there's a bunch of really cheap art commissions available, uh, the artists who are actually charging fair prices are not going to get enough work because people will think it's expensive and overpriced. When in reality, it's these really cheap artists who are pricing their work inappropriately. So that's the reason I'm making this video, because I want to kind of just give you uh, some sort of a guide and also to tell you that it is okay to charge large amounts of money for your artwork even though it might not, might not feel that way because you know i've been there i've been an artist charging five dollars for something that took me 10 hours um i've been there for years but now i'm finally at a point where i'm charging fair prices and i want to help more people get to that point however when you first start doing commissions when you're young very inexperienced it probably is a good idea to charge pretty minimally for your work. Uh, not only do you have very little experience, but your quality of work is probably pretty low. So what I have found, if you are starting out at that point where your work isn't very good yet and you're not very quote unquote popular or, or uh, well known yet, uh, it's a good idea to start pretty low and then gradually scale up your prices. I think it's fine to have um, pretty bad rates if it's just something you're doing temporarily. Um, so if you start out charging $20 for a portrait, uh, once you've done that for a few months and you know you start getting more demand, more requests, uh, and your skill also starts to improve, you can maybe jump up to $40 and then after another while you can jump up to $80, you know, and then over maybe the span of a year, you'll have gone from charging super horrible prices to charging something where you actually get paid, like um, maybe minimum wage, you know, if you consider the, the hourly rate, which is, um, you know, once you kind of, um, you know, get over that first stage of being you know, pretty bad and, and being very uh, unknown. A good like indicator if your prices are fair or not is to just look at your hourly wage. So uh, let's say you are charging um, $50 for a portrait, uh, but that portrait takes you 10 hours to finish. And you also spend about an hour emailing with the client and collecting reference. Um, you're only getting like, um, I'm terrible at math, but <laughs> you're only getting like $5 an hour or less. And that is, as far as I know, um, everywhere in the Western world is considered way less than minimum wage, way less than a, mi than a living wage. And it's, it's unacceptable. Because, and you have to remember this, um, as an artist, you are a tradesperson, you are, you know, a very specialized worker. Even though you may not have education or, you know, any real sort of, like, diplomas or, or evidence of your, your schooling, you've, it's taken you years to get to the point where you are and to get to the point where you can charge money for your art. Um, and that has to be considered as a part of your wage. 
people with bachelor's degrees get paid more than people without bachelor's, bachelor's degrees. So um, you as an artist who has trained for years should be paid more than like a minimum wage McDonald's worker. So the, the formula I use is like, okay, minimum wage in the US is $8. That's already like an abysmal wage. Uh, no one can live off of that. Um, and even if you could, as a specialized artist, you deserve more. So let's say you should have $14 an hour. Um, and then you like, okay, so a portrait takes you 10 hours, then you should get $140 for that portrait instead of the 50 you were charging before. And then you also need to consider, again, the emailing and the, the reference gathering, the prep work. Because art commissions are not just the drawing part. Uh, there's a lot of other work that goes into it. So, um, let's say you should be getting $154. But then, uh, if you are a professional, a full-time artist, you also have to pay taxes. Um, it's super important to calcu calculate that as part of the price or else you're going to end up with way less money than you expected after you have to pay tax. So um, I'm not sure what the tax is wherever you live, you have to figure that out. In my country it's pretty high. So to cover taxes instead of $154 I would have to charge $200. So that's the kind of thinking I use um, when a client asks me for a quote on a piece of work. And um, to a lot of people that might, might sound like a really high price. Um, because the thing is, I keep seeing, and this is, this is part of the reason why I'm making this video, uh, I keep seeing these really talented artists who are well-known, they have thousands of watchers on even are thousands of followers on Instagram, and they, they are asked to do commissions constantly. And yet they charge like $20 for a, a full painting that, that certainly takes them no less than 10 hours. And the worst part is, even with such low prices, people are still, especially on Instagram, I see comments complaining about how expensive these commissions are. And I just think there's like a big overlaying problem where people just like don't really consider the amount of time it takes to create a piece of art. And they don't value artists and they don't value their hard work. And that kind of translates into artists themselves not believing that they are worthy of getting paid fairly. But I am here to tell you that you should be charging more and you definitely deserve to be charging more. I urge you, if you are an artist taking commissions or if you are an artist who wants to eventually get to a point where you can take commissions and earn a living, I, I really urge you to take the approach of looking at how many hours you spend versus how many dollars you're getting. Uh, because no person who's like trained in a skill, a special skill, should be receiving like $2 an hour. Especially not if this is something you are looking to do as a career eventually. Like I think there's something about if you're just a hobbyist and, uh, and you're starting out and you're just really excited that someone is, someone wants to pay for your work. if if you're you're like excited by getting ten dollars for a portrait i'm not here to tell you that that there's something wrong about that i'm just telling you if you want art to be your career one day and you're taking it seriously you should really be charging an amount that lets you survive in this world like you should be charging something that is considered a living wage and i know it's really hard and it can feel really impossible to actually get work in the first place I'm making a video on that like next week, I think, like how to actually get commissioned and get to a point where you're where you're so overrun with the inquiries you have to turn people down. And it's hard to get to that point, but it's by no means impossible. So, you know, I'm going to cover that later. 
anyway the the fear of of losing clients or not getting clients at all if your rates are too high is a legitimate fear especially if you're just starting out you're you're kind of unknown uh, and you have no experience but i think it's really important that we as a community kind of just start upping our standards a bit because it just makes me really sad when i see people who who deserve so much charge so little for their work and and you know then they talk about how they're struggling financially and i just it's it's no wonder so my basic viewpoint for this whole video if i'm to just sum it up is you should be charging more and so like i said earlier you can either scale back scale up uh, slowly i think if you're already uh, taking commissions and you have an established client base i don't think it's a good idea to just suddenly make the jump from you know ten dollars to 200 um but you can get there over a relatively short amount of time if you just work hard and you you keep up in your skill and your your client base you can really change your prices pretty fast and if you are an established artist uh with the with non-fixed rates which which is something i uh recommend by the way um if you're offering commissions don't just have like 20 dollars for this thing 40 dollars for this thing 50 for this thing you should have like a base for everything and then uh let's say you get a character that's like super complex like their armor is decked out with like really decorative art items that's going to take you a long time to draw um you should be like yeah the base price is 20 but i'm gonna to have to charge 40 because it's gonna take me so long to finish uh so you you should keep your rates flexible uh but uh whatever whatever uh the the point i was <laughs> trying to make is uh if you're an artist who's already pretty established uh next time an uh, a client asks you for a quote try asking for a bit more than you usually would uh and and try to really consider the amount of time it's going to realistically take you and then just the, just ask for that price and and also just like throw in um you know if this is out of your budget we can we can work something out to to lower the price and then uh, you can open up a dialogue with your client and I'm telling you most people are just happy that you're charging more that you're charging more because as commission artists or whatever you want to call us uh, our clients are often our fans as well so they are just happy to see that we're charging an amount that we deserve uh, charging an amount that we can live comfortably on like for example I've upped my prices fairly rapidly over the past year, like I've more than tripled my prices over the span of just a year and I've only ever had one person say, I'm sorry, this is too expensive, I can't do it. Everyone else has just been happy for me and, and more than willing to pay a bit more than they, they thought they would or uh, than they usually do because People on the internet in comments can be very quick to judge you for having high prices and, you know, they'll call them expensive and they'll say you're greedy, whatever. But your clients, the per people who actually matter, will most most often just be supportive and, and more than willing to pay for a good piece of art. Because art is valuable you know it is a luxury item and it should be priced accordingly so the next time some indie studio approaches you and asks you to do 50 hours of work for 20 dollars or the next time someone asks you to make a drawing of them for five dollars just say no or say no but i could do it for 500 <laughs> you know and 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 take a look at your prices right now if you are already taking commissions and and see what you can do to improve them a bit just try to scale up a little that's that's my general advice for this whole video try to scale up a little and um consider your hourly rate and if you haven't considered it before i think you'll probably discover that it's criminally low 
I never really feel like I get my point across in these videos, which is why I make them so rarely, but I feel like I've covered my bases pretty well at this point, you know, just charge more, look at your hourly, hourly rates, and um, the next time you take a commission, try to really consider what you actually want to get out of it and what you actually deserve to get out of it. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and listening all the way through to the end. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Like I mentioned earlier, I will be posting another video pretty soon about job opportunities online, which is something you've been asking for for a while. So um, yeah, that's it. Bye.